Alright, um, data extraction machine, status inactive, DT, um, determination extraction machine. Maybe that's it? Well, that's kind of scary. Am I walking? There's something here, it feels like it's breathing. It's too dark to see near the walls. Alright, well I guess not. Uh, we're gonna come back here another time. Uh, and then we're gonna go all the way to the right hand side where I've not visited that- But first we will save because I beat that stupid monster. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore, then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Because it's really hot in here. It's getting hot in here! Press it! Yes! Ah! No! Can I? No! I don't have a stick! Alright, let's fight it. It's... It's pretty far out, you just pet air. Ugh! It was like upvotes, but not upvotes! Aw oh, man, I don't have a stick! It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Hmm. Ouch. A rocket dog. This is the least scary ghosty boo ever. Should carry my stick on me for this one. In case I die, at least I will know what to do. Bounces towards you, flecking strange liquid from his orifice. Rocket dog! Rocket dog! Rocket dog! Please don't kill me, rocket dog! Ugh. Oh no. Please shoot upvotes at me. Stupid bugs in my face. Ugh. <laughs> rocket dog! Rocket dog! How do I outrun this fast-moving thing... creature? It's not excited enough to play with, so I have to beckon it more? Uh, feelers rotate quickly, nothing happened. You mean his tail? Ugh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! I, I might have to die and get some <sighs> dickwad bones. Moving diagonals. I've done nothing but just eat food because this thing hurts like a bitch. Convulses rapidly, then comes down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots up way and crawls wildly on the walls. What the fuck? Is striking the wall with its claws. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room, the Almagate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Algamate is very tired. It leans its stripping amorphous body on you. Well, you should not be attacking me if you can. Oh, I'm gonna die! No, is twitching affectionately. Alright, well, let me play with it again. Seems too tired. Damn it! 
Dude, this sounds really effing creepy. It starts to generate stage one happiness froth. All right, I'm gonna die right here. Should I get a stick? I should get a stick, maybe? Because in the end, it's still a dog, ghost or not. Just knowing what to do really shortens the time of the fight. Except it feels like I'm about to die already. <laughs> Alright. Here's the jet one. Ow. Oh. Should move and... Uh, play fetch for a while. NNG is contented. Yay! I win! We played fetch and I won! Bitch! Mm, bitch! Yeah, stick was a good idea. Uh, flip this up. Come on. Grab this and this. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's soul when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. Well, the mirror is going to show something that's not me. Experiments on the vessels are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're just a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. I even called it out. Okay. Herbert, Herbert, Herb. You know, like it. That seems terrible. You wash your hands, but nothing happened. Oh my god. Mystify. You did something mysterious. Quite comma recognizes it more. It has more to learn from this world. Something look. But it was already mystified. Alright, so I obviously have to do something to impress it in order for it to not really attack me, I guess. But yet still attack me. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh. You mean this creepy head attack happens regardless of whether I met the git? Uh, balls, but. Last something. Use your words, bird thing! Pick on? You seem. You pick on, comma, it seems effective. Yeah, but you! 
Luckily, these guys really only have like two attacks. That really, really hurt. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit Courage. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. There. Reaper Bird. Bye. Sorry, I, I do this so I can prepare myself for other fights. I, I will get rid of all the other ones. Like, you have no idea how long I spent making sure they become all dog salad. Because I'm cheap and I don't want to spend my money. Can't help that I'm Asian. Not sure if that was a proud statement or not. There's a note on the ground you can't make it all out. Cold, that's all you could read. There's some kind of... Um... <coughs> My doge! Ugh! They gave me the chills. Unexpected bark. Sorry, guys. So, I have to go, I guess, all the way back to the left, which is the only available... Uh, place for me to go unless I missed something very obvious. I have a feeling that once I insert all four keys that thing is going to turn on. Oh hello! Entry number 19. The fam family is keep calling to ask me when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. The refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain a sample of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today, four about everyone being angry, one about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. I'm gonna check you in a second. Uh, entry number 21. I spend all my time in the garbage dump now. It's my element. Alright, you know what? YOLO! The refrigerator, it's empty. What? The refrigerator, it seems to contain some sort of sample. It's empty. You liar, you're not a refrigerator. so cold. You told a bad pun about snow, her expression starts to shift. Haha, uh -huh. I remember. Cause it looks like the snow drake, it's so cold. You told a bad pun, her ex expression changes more. Oh, this is really sad. It's so cold. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't laugh. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snowy. It's so cold. You said something. You look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that. Snowy. It's so cold. You told a bad pun. She's completely calmed now. You won! Found a blue key on the ground. You put it on your keychain. Uh, this is where the yellow key, uh, the green key. Sorry, I already put the yellow key in. We're gonna go all the way back to where the Doge was, and we're gonna put the blue key in. So bear with me. Blue key fits perfectly into the slot. I'm gonna go back to the main room where I was supposed to go through the center to the center door. Uh, I'm assuming the like ghost things are uh, 
the families of those, the deceased. It's kind of sad to think about it that way. Um, Alright. Fall in. I'm gonna save here. There's an elevator. But wait, there's more! Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Sure. No, turn it back off. Turn it back off. Eee, Toriel, help! Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled potato chips on the potato chips you had in. Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were the ones you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried that I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls could last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters don't have enough physical matter to take on these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a hor horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all of this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Entry number 8. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there is something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. A flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains a will the will to live? Is that flowery? Entry number 18. The flower is gone. That's flowy. Ring. It's a voice you've never heard before. Enmo. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place, Enmo. See you soon. Eep! It's flowy. It's totally flowy. I've already seen all of this. Unless something has changed. But I've seen all of this otherwise. See you guys in a bit.